I have two new bikes. 250 Duke on the left. 250 Duke on the right. Two Dukes. And it's a beautiful day for a tear Duker. Man, I can't get enough of those bikes. After a few weeks of waiting, they are now ready for some stunts style. But now I need your help, guys. I need to know how should I change the colors, the rims, the parts and so on. What is your idea how this bike should look like? Drop some comments below and let me know. Thanks guys for the help. Dominic, what do you say? Pretty cool. One is for me, right? <laughs> Let's load them up. I want to check the top speed on these 250s. The first one to come to the van, get some beer! Oh, Last time I lost the bet on Dominic with the sticker kit and now I lost the race with Marco. I'm losing money when I bet something, man. Time for some meetings, Marco and the KTM crew. And then I hope I have enough time to test the top speed on my 250 Duke. I hope I have time. KTM Factory, Ujiva is a film. What should I say? No words. Lots of new projects, lots of traveling in the next weeks. We just finished the planning for South America. Lots of video shooting and coming for the new bikes. Yeah! 217, second half, very exciting. Now switching my mind, business mind, into athlete mind. Now, let's go ride my 250 bike. Rock and roll. I need to make some more room because I choose a bit too short road for the top speed test. So I'm gonna hit this corner here. I'm now around 115 kilometers per hour. There is still some room left. Full throttle as fast as possible. I'm gonna take some drastic changes on the bike and I'm gonna remove the side mirrors. Maybe this is gonna help to save some aerodynamic. Don't do this when you hit the road because this is making you safe on the road. But I'm gonna just for the test. Dominic. I choose a wrong road. This is too short for the top speed test. I hit around 125 kilometers per hour. So wait one second. I'm gonna Google what should be the top speed. So Mr. Google tells me 147. So whoa, there is plenty more space for the top speed. I'm gonna prove you the 147 kilometers per hour that this bike can make. Actually, before we hit to the next location, I remember something with Marco. We bet that until end of June, I'm gonna hit 100,000 followers on, on IG. So please add me, add me, add me, add Where? me, add me. Where? Here, here. Oh, here, I see it. I see Rock it. Bagaros. If I win, if I get 100,000, I'm gonna get new, free, fresh sneakers from Marco. And if I lose, I need to buy him new sneakers. So help me, please. Please. <laughs> Now we are heading to a friend of mine that uh, invited me a long time ago to visit his new workshop and he's building some crazy bikes so let's go check them out. This is the guy that is building <laughs> one of the craziest or the craziest one cylinder bikes on the planet. Kramer motorcycle. This is Mr. Kramer. Come on in. This is 
a proper sound, man. This I need on my 690 Duke for sure. <laughs> People who love it on my shows. Tell me a little bit about your bikes. Yeah, it's a super mono race bike. Super mono means a single cylinder yeah. up to 800cc plus maximum from the rules. Ooh. We stick to 690 here. Um, we are very competitive in European Championship with a bike like this. Special thing on the, on the bike designed for racing. So working on the bike is very easy. So stripping the body work off is always quick, fast enough. In seconds you have the body work off. But also all the other things. So if you take the rear wheel off, you can just pull the, the axle, the st wheel stays in the yeah, swing arm. Yeah, yeah. Very easy and quick to work on, on the bike. Special thing on the foot pack, for example. Footback. Components, which are machined here, are used on the right and left side. So there, there's no difference. Crash a lot in history, so, so we make it very crash resistant. Here on the crash bar, it's mounted on a cheat metal. Mm -hmm. If you crash the cheat metal, get bended, you don't destroy the swing arm. Crash protection on the fuel tank. Crash protection uh, on the frame. That's always the biggest mistake. That's the rock on tech tip on the Dukes. A lot of people buy the crash protectors from eBay and they mount it straight to the frame. Looks cool and looks safe, but once you crash, you destroy the whole frame. Don't buy this kind of stuff. Looks just cool and it's not working. And that's the real thing. You need to be careful which kind of protection you you buy. So. So you can have a test ride on Luki's bike. No, really? Uh, yes, what? yes, yes. Now yes. you're joking. But it has a fresh tire. Uh, Luki is always afraid of fresh tires. Ah, so okay. So yeah, you can, you can take it. No burnout. <laughs> I don't know if he wants to have this bike in one piece back or not. <laughs> I never rode a proper race bike in my life. I have enough skills probably to ride a <laughs> race bike up and down the street. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It has a race shifting which means first one is up and all goes down so other ways as on my uh, stunt bike this bike is mental i want this bike for my stunt bike i really feel every horsepower in this one cylinder engine Rock and roll guys! That's a crazy workshop. Motorhead's gonna love it. I love those bikes. Big respect to Marcos. I really love the execution of the part. This is a paradise for a petrol head, let's say. Remember, Kramer motorcycles, check them on Facebook. And that was it. Rock and roll guys.